Hello, this is a note, another note on working a problem in the um, online uh, navigation course. Um, and it's, this problem is quiz seven number eight. And the, the question was working it without, uh, without the paper chart and plotting tools. And well, certainly the easiest way to do that is just use OpenCPN, the electronic charting program, totally free program. And then you use our training chart, which you download and install and so here's the problem it's at 1230 rosario straight traffic separation buoy y r a the quotes mean r a is written on the buoy and you see that's this buoy right here so that's the buoy and then uh is noted as a radar target in thick fog its range is 4.4 miles and its relative bearing 190 you're steering 125 m 125m okay so well one easy way to get started okay so we know we're 4.4 miles from that and we don't know what direction yet but we can we can figure out the direction so here's a uh, we're steering 125m so that's 125 plus and then the relative bearings 190 so Let's see, where is 125? That, you know, that's somewhere like over here, magnetic. And then, uh, well, okay, it doesn't matter, 125M. And then we uh, want, and then we're 190 relative, 190 relative. So we add to that plus 190, 190, and we get that. So it's a bearing that's 315 magnetic, magnetic. And let's just say, I'm not going to, let's just do this in true. So that's magnetic. This chart we use all everywhere, 20 degrees east. So correcting at east, that's magnetic. I want to go to true. So plus 20 is equal to 335, 335 uh, true. Now that's 335 true. Now, uh, okay, so we can then figure out where we are. We can go to this buoy here, and that, here's a trick. We've shown this trick many times. We drop a mark right on the buoy, uh, you know, sort of right there. We right click the mark, go to properties, extended. We're going to add one range ring, and we're going to make it 4.4. 4.4 because that's what the problem said so we are somewhere on this ring and we're on that ring where 335 where this buoy bears 335 now I with this kind of solution oh I wonder if that's the answer I might have practiced with it let me just delete that I, um, um, what we want to do now and see I can't I can't draw backwards here. So the easiest, there's there's one trick we could draw direction 335 that way and then just write and then go back down that same line. Or in this case, the easiest thing is we could just take 335. We really want the reciprocal of that. So let's just say minus 180. Minus 180 equals as 155. So we'll start here. We can just draw a line from here. Uh, yes, use that buoy, and then come down here and watch the, the watch the number on the left. That's 155. Oh, and those are true bearings. Uh, okay, true bearings being displayed here, and then we go to 150. Okay, so you say 152, three, four, and just when it switches to back up, or just when it switches to five, right there. Escape. All right. So there. And then what you can do is, that's your answer right here. This latitude and longitude at this point. And the easiest way to do that is you just drop a mark and go there. You go there and then you can ask for the properties of that mark. And then you would get the latitude and longitude that way. There's other ways you can do it. You can use these dashboards. And here's one, let's see, that's not one we want. Um, let me just go. Okay, let me go up here, right click. Why can't I get into the properties here? Oh, okay, preferences. And what's the cursor? That's the one I want. Show this one. Okay, that's just, uh, okay. So these we don't need. These are just little pop-up windows. You can define them to show whatever you want to show. And in this case, I just made one that shows what the cursor is. 
and I just go there and put the cursor on here and you can you can read the answer right if you want to know the where the buoy is here you read it you read it up here like that so what all right so that's the way you can do that now you could do this just just with a just with a regular protractor I mean just a regular store uh, grocery uh, uh, departments uh, no drugstore drugstore every drugstore has got a protractor so you just get a protractor so you can draw direction 135 I mean 335 just with a protractor we don't need special tools here just with a protractor and then your mile scale is over here and then you just get let's see this 15 20 one, two, three, four, and then you got to count these. Let me just go in here. This is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, perfect. So you would just make a and put a piece of paper up here, a piece of cardboard, the edge of a paper, and just pick a tick mark here, and then one, two, three, four, four point four, tick, another tick mark here, and then take that piece of paper up and put it on that line and then you'll make your mark. So we do this with, you know, normally parallel rulers and dividers or something like that, but you can do this just with a, you know, a 50 cent protractor and two marks on an envelope. We don't need really fancy tools.